Hey y'all, here it is. First things first, eye primer. This is MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This is good for olive toned skin. If you are more on the pink side, I recommend Painterly, and you're gonna put this all over your eye from lash line to brow. Then this is the new uh, palette. The first color I'm using is called Blazing. It's the bottom right corner. Unfortunately, when I did this video, I did not realize that iMovie was gonna cut out off the bottom. So you're just gonna have to take my word for the colors and I'll take a picture of the palette later. This is my transition color. I just used a fluffy brush to go in my crease and a little bit above. Next, I took a smaller brush and I went into the color Royal as my highlight color. This is kind of a bone color. It's matte and I'm just putting it right there on my brow bone where it meets the transition color that I just put on, the blazing color. So we want those to blend nicely. Hi, Oliver. We want those to blend nicely and we don't want stripes of color if we can help it. So pull out those fluffy brushes and make sure that you blend, blend, blend. All right, the next color I'm grabbing is on the bottom row and it's called Saffron. Sorry, cough, 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 cough. Um, and it is kind of a terracotta color, like a dark terracotta. Sorry, I think I inhaled eyeshadow. Um, and we're gonna go deep into our crease and we're going to lay that color down. The um, brush that I'm using is a MAC 221S. S now stands for synthetic. They've changed all their brushes over to synthetic to be cru a cruelty-free company. And so I'm laying it down and then I, with the same brush, I'm going in and I'm blending it into the transition color. I grab my transition color brush, which is a bit fluffier, and now I am blending all the way out to diffuse the color so I don't see blocks or stripes of color. I'm gonna go back in now with a color that is super gorgeous. It's kind of a reddish color. It's called Turkish Delight. I'm going back into the crease again with a small brush like a 221S from MAC, um, and I'm laying that down also on top of the saffron. So I blew out the saffron, and so now I'm putting down Turkish Delight. Doing all these layers of color is gonna give me a nice bit of dimension to my eye. Um, some people are only comfortable with two colors. Um, I like to pack them all on just to give my eye that real three-dimensional look. So um, yeah, once I've got that down, I go back in with my fluffy brush and again, diffuse all those colors, make them blend. This is gonna give you the airbrush look. Now I'm going in with a darker color, I think. Um, oh no, sorry, this is Oud. This is on the top right hand uh, corner. It's a nice gold, it's got a lot, a lot of shimmer to it. And I just go in with my finger. It's much easier to pat down those shimmery colors. If you use a brush, I feel like it just gives you a wash of color. Whereas if you use your finger, you're really packing it on and making it nice and opaque, which is what you want. That's the color payoff. You're gonna make it look just like it looks in the palette on your eye. Now we're going in with our darker color and the color I chose was Nefertiti. And this is a really pretty rich red brown. And I've got that going into my outer corner and into my crease right over the Turkish Delight. And I go about halfway in on my eye, um, wherever your iris is or your pupil is, that is where you want to stop. So um, I did not realize I was going to be trying to give an anatomy lesson today. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, you're just going to go in again. You're going to continue to diffuse those colors. You don't want to over blend until you just have a muddy mess, um, but you definitely want to blend enough because you don't want to see blocks and stripes. I went in with a brush that had no eyeshadow on it just to start blending the colors all the way up to my highlight color, which is that royal color that's on my brow bone and a little smile. All right, now dollar liner from shopmissa.com. This is their AOA liquid liner. It's not a felt tip. It's more like a thin paintbrush. Um, some people think this takes a lot of getting used to. I've done this since I was in high school, so I'm pretty used to it by now, but I'm just doing a kitten eye. Um, at my age, a full-on cat eye just looks ridiculous. So a kitten eye just means that I have a little bit of a shorter tail 
on the end. So um, I got one done, let's do the other one. I really do love this liner for a dollar. Um, I think a lot of people don't know about this website. So I encourage you to go on there because it really is awesome. They have really great stuff. Um, so eyeliner is done. Time for concealer. This is my Tarte Shape Tape, good old faithful. Put a little bit in the inner corner, a little bit on the outer corner, same thing on the other side. And then what I like to do is I go in with my concealer around my nostrils. I have quite a few broken capillaries there. And so I'm trying to cover that up. Now, as you noticed, I made quite a mess with my shadow um, as I was putting it on my eyes. There's fallout and I went out a lot farther than my eyes. So look at that quick cleanup. I used my concealer to my advantage and I used my God-given brushes, my fingers, to warm up the product and also blend them out and erase any extra eyeshadow that I've got on the sides or the outer corners. So I'm using my fingers so far. I blend out a little bit there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna blend down the nose a little bit. That's always fun. And then of course, Old Faithful, I'm gonna get my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, the orange one. And I love it because it has a flat side on one side and then a pointed side on the other. And I am just pressing my concealer into my skin. Um, always remember to at least dampen these. If you use them dry, they don't do really that much, I don't think. All right, so next we're going in with some more of our shadow. I'm going back in with saffron on, oh, just kidding. I'm going back in with royal on my brow bone. <laughs> Voiceovers are new to me, can you tell? So just putting in a little bit more highlight color. This is a matte color. Um, I don't particularly love shiny highlight colors. All right, so now I'm taking a um, pencil brush and I'm not sure who that one is by but just a good pencil brush, and I've gone back into the shadow called Saffron, which is the dark clay colored shadow, and this too will give dimension. I feel like as we age, having a harsh line like a, an eyeliner, whether it's liquid or a pencil, that can really age us. So I feel like as we age, we want to do something that's a little softer. So I really love using eyeshadow as my liner, quote unquote, underneath my eye. And I choose two shadows to do this. So the first one is Saffron. And then I went in with another one called Blazing. And that one is just going to give it a little bit more dimension. I go down lower, even lower with that one. Um, and I do this after my concealer because if I do my concealer first, I mean, if I do my concealer after this, then it's going to leave that harsh line that I'm not trying to have. And yes, I keep looking up because a bug flew into my house and it's landing on my window. A little jig there, a little happy, happy dance. Here is my favorite, con or favorite foundation. It is MAC Studio Sculpt. There's the bug again. MAC Studio Sculpt, for me, my color is NC30. I put it on my hands, warm up the product, put it all over my face. I love this because it has an SPF and it's also very hydrating. I have super dry skin, so this is good stuff for me. Um, and then once I've got it on my face, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to press it in and really get it to melt into the skin. Um, this is a great foundation for those of us with super dry skin. So press, 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 get it in there. All right, silly face, okay. And let's see, what am I looking for? Um, yes, okay, this is Glow Milk, I think it's called. I got this in a FabFitFun box. I really like it. It's a liquid kind of highlight. I wouldn't necessarily use it just as a highlight, but it sure does give the skin this gorgeous glow. I put it on the high planes of my face. Again, warm up the products in my finger fingers and then I take my beauty blender and press it in again. We want everything to melt into our skin and this stuff right there, it looks so good even with no makeup on. So just gives you a nice glow. All right, my tried and true beauty here. This is my Tarte Tartist Highlight and Contour Kit. Um, you can see it is very well loved. I need to get another one. Um, I'm using the bottom right powder contour color, it's the dark brown color. 
and some people really like a heavy contour. I am not a huge fan of that for my face. Um, I feel like my face is pretty angular. I have a really pointy nose and somewhat pointy cheeks and pointy chin. Um, so I need to go a little softer on the contour. So I use a powder contour. I use a large brush. I go all around the perimeter of my face and onto my cheekbones and down onto my chin, my jawline, and into my neck. You cannot forget your neck. Please don't forget your neck. And if you're wearing your, if you're wearing your hair back in a ponytail, don't forget your ears. Um, sides of my nose just to warm up the entire face and you can see that that's happening um, not necessarily making sharp angles but I'm warming up the face up here's my favorite highlight from that and I'm going in the high planes of the face with very light pressure on the brush um, I don't want to make it look like glitter I really just want it to glow tip of the nose bridge of the nose middle of the forehead chin and of course can't forget the cupid's bow so there's our highlight. And next we have Max Blush. This is their new, I think it's called Bounce Back Blush or something like that. Um, it's really great and I'm using it with a tightly bundled brush. So it's a pretty stiff brush. And what is happening to my video? Okay, so I don't know what's happening with my audio and my video. I feel like it's gonna look crazy. Sorry, I'm new at all this, whatever. Here we go. So yeah, the Bounce Back Blush by MAC, kind of a cream blush with a tightly bundled brush. Really, really, really a good thick brush. Um, keep it up high on the cheekbones, go up to the temple, but not into the temple. Otherwise, I feel like we look like we have fevers. All right, comb out your brows. And here is MAC. Um, it's their gel, their brow gel in True Brunette. <clears throat> and I'm just using an angled brush and I'm just going all along the bottom of my eyebrow. So I'm going along my natural shape. And then I'm just going to fill it in. And when I fill it in, I go darker on the outer ends, on the tail of my eyebrow, and I go lighter towards the nose. Um, eyebrows are kind of a funny thing. I think they're very personal. Some people like those big old steak fries. I do not. Um, and right now the crazy soap brows, not a big fan of those either. So I'm just going to like buck the system and just go with what I know and what I like. So, and I, of course, my brows are pretty thin because I was in college in the 90s and Drew Barrymore's were thin and I blame her for everyone's thin eyebrows. We all overplucked in the 90s and so it's all her fault. Dang you, Drew Barrymore. All right, so comb out your eyebrows and let's go. Let's put on some mascara. This is the Sky High Mascara. At first when I got this, I did not think I was going to like it because of this brush. The brush is kind of too flexible which is what I thought, but it actually works out very well. Um, again, I use the tip of the brush where all the product is to deposit the product on my lashes, and then I comb the product through my lashes to get as much um, out of the product as I can. So other eye, just a light coat of mascara. I'm only doing one coat because I'm gonna put lashes on. So I'm gonna get those top lashes, and then I'm gonna go in on my bottom ones, not too much. We don't want spider lashes, and the less product you put on your lower lashes, the less likely they are to smudge and mix in with your concealer. So, time for lashes. This is this new glue I'm trying out. It's by Kiss. Oh, just kidding. This is, <laughs> I went in with lip liner instead first. Okay, so this is MAC Lip Liner in Soar, S-O-A-R, like soaring like a bird. This has been a bestseller for years, back when I worked at the MAC counter in the like 2007, 2009 era. This was a bestseller then, and it's still a bestseller now. Filling in my lips with the liner, I did an X over my Cupid bow went all the way to the corners of my mouth, tapered that off a little bit. I do overline a smidge. I'm not trying to recreate the look of my lip, but I am trying to even them out. So once I fill in my lips, then I go in with a MAC lip gloss. Yes, I am skipping lipstick because I just really like these two colors together. Um, this is Nymphet by MAC. It's a gorgeous pinky gold. I mean, it really is great. And what I love about it is the gold reflex in these um, will make your lips look even poutier. There's that bug again. Anyways, it'll make your lips look poutier. 
And um, yeah, so there you go. Now it's time for the lashes. These are again from Shop Miss A. If you uh, buy individual pairs of lashes, they're a dollar. Yes, you heard me right. These are great. These are the Alexis lashes. So first, I'm looking for my glue. Ah, uh, that's inconvenient. There we go. This is the glue I was about to tell you about. This is the Kiss Glue Liner. This is new to me, so y'all are trying it at the same time I am. Um, so it's supposed to go on clear. It is just like a felt pen. I've already got my liner on, so I'm sure that now when I take my brush away, it's gonna be full of black liner. No big deal to me because this will not be used on clients. This is only to be used by me, myself, and I, since there's no real way for me to clean it between clients. So I've got it on just like I would put on eyeliner and pop those lashes right on. Pow and pow, get those inner and outer corners push them down, and bam, that was easy. No drying time, no waiting for the glue to get tacky. Yes, I am a fan of this glue. I will be purchasing it again. So same thing on the other side. You're just going to apply the glue like you would a regular liner, and then you're just going to slap your lashes on. I did cheat. These are lashes that I've worn before, so they're already cut to size for me. So yes, I did cheat a little bit on that. So anyways, here's the look. Hope you like it. And flirtatious face coming up. There you go. Mm, kisses. Bye.